Katie, welcome back to my channel. So today I really wanted to play around with some glitter. So I was thinking about a purple half cut crease with some silver glitter. At least like that's my thought pattern going into this. Who knows how it's going to turn out. Um, but I really hope that you enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and check out my social media links below. And let's just go ahead and get started. Okay. Let's just ignore the hair situation that we have going on. I was like, you know, I'll just tie back the front bits, get it out of my face. Kind of looks like I just gave myself a mullet. <laughs> okay, so jumping into it, I'm going to start by taking the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. And I'm just going to take a two pumps of that on my hand. Just distribute it around my face. And then I'm just going to rub it in. And as you can see, I've already gone ahead and shaped my brows. And I've been really enjoying doing that first lately, which is so weird to me because I was always wanting to do my brows after, like my foundation and my powder was all done. But I've been really enjoying it doing it first because I find I can really like carve out the brow and make it really like clean and sharp and crisp. Um, but what I do is I go in with a brow uh, pencil and then a brow pomade and then go ahead and do my foundation and my powder and all of that. And then once my powder is done, then I will go in with um, like my brow fiber and um, my brow gel and like set it all into place because otherwise I find that like powder gets in the brow and it's just like, it's not cute. So I don't know, that's just been my brow routine lately. So these products have been like my triple threat combo lately. I love all of them individually and together. They just create such a flawless base. So you guys already know that I love the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. It is so full coverage. I love the finish, the color, and I love to mix in some of the Cover FX Custom Enhanced Drops in Celestial. This gives my skin a nice glow to it, and it's intense, which I love because sometimes when I'll mix in other illuminators into my foundation, I'm like... Did that even do anything? But this one, it works. And it's also not glittery, which I like. Because again, I've used illuminators in my foundation. And I'm like, this just looks like I've poured glitter on my face. And like, that's a look. But not the look that I'm personally going for. <laughs> And always when I use loose glitter, I always start with my eyes first as glitter gets on the face and you want to be able to remove that. Um, but I am going to be using liquid glitter today. So I think I should be fine. I've taken a chance by doing my face first, but I should be alright. <laughs> And this is the Sigma Large Shader Brush, by the way. And then as you saw, I'll be using the ColourPop No Filter Foundation in Fair. I love this stuff and it blends like a dream. So I'm just applying it under my eyes, on my eyelids, and just down the center of my face. And then going back in with my Damp Beauty Blender to blend that out. So before setting my face, I just quickly want to try out a new product from Astralis that they sent me. This is their Strobe Jelly Highlight. Now I've seen that highlight jelly trend that went on on YouTube and Instagram, but I've never tried a jelly highlight for myself, so I'm very excited. Ooh. Okay, let's like touch it. Whoa. This kind of reminds me of like a foam consistency. So weird. So I read on their website you can apply it with your fingers, a brush, a sponge. So I think I'm going to go in with my finger. This is so weird. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to go in with my finger so I can get some precision. And then let's go in with a beauty blender to blend it out. I don't know how I feel about this. It's kind of like sitting on my foundation. Okay, so it's definitely given my skin a glow, but it's sitting on top of the foundation. So I'm going to go in with a brush and kind of try to buff it out. Um, but this product might be perfect if you're going for like a no makeup makeup day um, and you just want a little bit of highlight on your bare skin just to give it a your skin a little bit of a glow. But I don't know how I feel about this on top of foundation. So I'm just going to quickly set the areas where I applied concealer. So I'm going in with some translucent powder on the Morphe Y14 brush. Let's just apply this. 
So to set the rest of my face, I'm going to take the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light on the Morphe Y3 brush. And I love this powder because it creates like a really soft airbrush look on your skin. Like it gives your skin like a really subtle glow. Like not a glow where it's like, oh, like she's got a glow to her skin, but like... Oh, I don't know how to explain, like a healthy glow, you know? Let's get some warmth and color back into the face. So I'm going in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, and I'm going to take this shade here with the Morphe Y8 brush. And really, we're just creating a little bit of shadow in the hollows of my cheeks just to make them look a little bit more prominent and defined. Then just with the warmer shade from the palette, I'm going to warm up. The perimeters of my face. For blush today, I'm going to take the CoverGirl True Blend Blush in Medium Rose on that same Morphe Y3 brush. And I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks, bringing it back towards my temples. For highlight today, I'm going in with the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Glazed. I love these ColourPop Super Shock Cheek highlights, they are so incredibly pigmented. And this one has like a slight iridescent gold to it. It's so pretty. So I'm going to take that on the Anastasia A23 brush and just pop it on the high points of my cheeks. And just going in with that same blush brush to diffuse the edges of that highlighter. Okay, so we've finished the face. I'm now going to go ahead and finish off my brow. So I'm going to take the Gimme Brow by Benefit in number three. And just run this through my brows to tint my brow hairs. I'm also just going over any powder that has accidentally gotten into my brows when I set my face. Then going in with the Benefit 3D Brow Tones in number four for the beginning of my brows, just to make them look a little bit more natural. And then setting all of that with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And this will just lock them into place for the day. Okay, so let's go ahead and set everything we've done to ensure that it doesn't move throughout the day. So I'm going to take the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray in Watermelon. That is the base done. Now we can go ahead and move on to the eyes. Okay, so today we're going to be dipping into the BH Cosmetics Taking Me Back to Brazil palette. And this is a nice and colorful palette and it's also affordable, which is great. So I'm dipping into this purpley pink shade on the Morphe E27 brush. And this is going to act as our transition shade. So I'm just going to be popping that in my crease and then I'll gradually blend that up towards my brow bone. And I'm starting with a really light hand and then gradually building the intensity. I'm going to be dipping into the ColourPop shadow Going Steady. I'm going to take that on the Morphe Y18 brush and really focus this in my crease. Then going back in with the first brush to blend that out. So I'm going to go in with this dark purple shade on the Zoeva Soft Definer brush. And I'm really going to start to deepen this look by intensifying my crease and my outer corner. On the Sigma Blending Brush, I'm going to go back in with that dark purple shade and pick up a little bit of black to kind of create an even darker purple shade, which I'm then going to blend in my crease and just again intensify and deepen the look. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with some of the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Chantilly and use that to carve out this half cut crease. And I'm following the shape of my natural crease. However, I'm applying the concealer above my natural crease to give myself more lid space to work with. Then going in with some of the Garnier Micellar Water Makeup Remover on a cotton tip to remove the excess shadow below that half cup crease. And this is going to allow us to have a clean canvas to work with for the glitter. Then just going back in with some more concealer, I'm applying this on that empty lid space. And then once I reach towards the end of this half cup crease, I'm going to use my finger to diffuse the line between the concealer and eyeshadow to help the blending process. And setting it with some translucent powder to ensure that the lid doesn't crease. Okay, so I'm now going to go back in with the first shade we used on a flat brush and I'm going to be applying this to the outer edge of my eye and this is going to, again, help the blending process because if I applied the silver glitter now, it won't be nice gradient of colour so that's why we're applying this lighter purple shade. 
Then going back in with the dark purple and black to create a nice blended outer corner. So now is usually when I would apply the glitter. However, today I want to wear some black liquid liner, which is something that I hardly ever do. So I want to create an outline for where not to apply the glitter. Because whether it's a liquid or a loose glitter, it's still an uneven surface. And that makes it a lot harder to create a nice, clean, sharp line with a liquid liner. And applying liquid liner over glitter also doesn't work because then the glitter peeks through the liner. And unless that's the look you're going for, then we don't want that. <laughs> And to do this today, I'm using the Ico Cosmetics Black Magic Liquid Liner. I'm then cleaning up below the wing with a tiny bit of foundation. For someone who doesn't do liquid liner, this is a very dramatic wing. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. It like slowly grew and grew. You know when you like make a little mistake and then you have to like compensate that mistake by making the wing a little bit bigger? That's what happened. <laughs> I'm going in with the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Diamond Dust. This is my favorite liquid glitter and I'm applying this to the back of my hand so that I can go in with a brush to get some more precision. And I'm gonna be applying that on the concealer. And then once I reach the edge of this half cup crease, I'm gonna gradually trail off the glitter so that we can blend it in to the eyeshadow. And we're doing this because we don't want it to be just like glitter and then eyeshadow. We want it to be like glitter and then eyeshadow. <laughs> While I let this liquid glitter dry, I'm gonna go back in with my eyeliner to fill in the outline that we created. I'm gonna go back in with that same light purple shade and just lightly tap that on the edge of that glitter to again create a nice blended look. To redefine the edge of this half cup crease, I'm gonna go back in with the dark purple on the Zoeva winged liner brush, and I'm gonna be applying that to the very edge of that eyeshadow where the eyeshadow meets the glitter. I'm going in and curling my lashes, and we are gonna be popping on some falsies today because I just can't not wear falsies when I'm wearing black liquid liner, especially if it's a big wing like this one because otherwise it makes my lashes pretty much look non-existent. I'm just popping on some of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And while we're here, let's just quickly do the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go back in with the first purple shade we used on the Morphe Y20 brush and smoke that under my lower lash line. Then picking up the darker purple shade on the Morphe Y22 brush, I'm applying that as close to my waterline as possible. And then just lining my waterline with the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crown in Grape Vine before applying mascara to my lower lashes. So I have here the Tati Lashes in number three. I'm pretty sure these are gonna be like the biggest lashes I've ever put on my eyes before, but I was like, you know what? Let's step out of my comfort zone a little bit and see what happens. <laughs> I feel like my eye could like fly away right now. <laughs> and finally, we're going in with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Exorcism. And I decided that I wanted the lips to be a little bit brighter, so I'm going in with the Morphe Liquid Lip in Hollywood Nights. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.